Okay. Um, so for number 10, we're talking about two perfumes, which are gases. Um, there were given their molecular weights. If we weren't given their molecular weights, you'd want to be careful about diatomics. Um, they're released at the same time. And so the question is, which one is faster? Um, and the one that is faster is always going to be whichever one is lighter, whichever one has a smaller molecular weight. So since perfume B's molecular weight is smaller than perfume A, we know that perfume B is faster. Smaller molecular weight, faster, that's it. When we are trying to figure out how many times faster, um, that's when we're essentially using the formula R1 over R2 equals square root of MW2 over MW1. However, we don't have four different things to plug in. We're actually solving for, as a whole, this R1 over R2 fraction. So um, the trick to putting things in the right spot here isn't just make sure you're using the formula with the diagonal correctly. Rather, what we want to do is, honestly, I don't even write the R1 over R2. I just write equals, sorry, equals. And when we do the square root of the two molecular weights, we always want to put the bigger one on top and the smaller one on bottom, that is only for, for doing how many times faster. For doing how many times faster, bigger over smaller underneath the square root mm -hmm. is what's gonna mm -hmm. put them in the right spot uh, for you to get the answer. So if you wanna simplify that first, you can do 275 divided by 205, which is 1.34. And then when you take the square root of that, you should get 1.158 or 1.16, so it's 1.16 times faster. And I'm not gonna write that, 1.16 times faster. Um, now for part B, they tell us that the first perfume takes 15 seconds to get from the perfume bottle to your nose, essentially. Um, we wanna know how long, so how many seconds for the second perfume? Well the first perfume is going to be the one that gets to our nose first is going to be the one that moves faster so since we're talking about time we're using t1 over t2 and the time one is the one that goes straight across so mw1 is on top mw2 is on bottom it's up to you if you put the 15 on top or bottom um that doesn't matter I imagine most of you probably put it on top. It's fine if you flip the left-hand side, as long as your right-hand side is also flipped. Um, what matters is that T1 is for the first perfume. So the faster perfume, its molecular weight needs to go on top. The faster one we already said was B. So in this case, we're actually putting 205 on top because 15 seconds is how long it took for the faster perfume we know that the faster perfume has the smaller molecular weight and 275 goes on bottom. So in terms of if the algebra for this freaks you out, um, do anything you can do in a calculator to start. Uh, so you probably in your calculator can type this. So I'm gonna simplify. I'm gonna say 15 over X equals, I'm gonna take the square root of 205 divided by 275. You can do that in two steps if you want. Uh, and then to make sure you don't mess up solving this for X, I always recommend put that over one and cross multiply. Then we're doing 15 divided by that 0.863 number. And we get X to be 17.37, and that would be in seconds just because our 15 was in seconds. That's it.